Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we've got the third episode of the Guardian Gauntlet, and with that, we will be spinning the wheel and see which Guardian we're playing today. Once again, uh, Athena and Yorm are not on the wheel because uh, we were able to win that in episodes one and two. And we've got good old fat Loki Kabrakin. All right, time to play some Kabrakin. Okay, so there's a couple ways to play this. It depends on who we're going to be fighting. But, uh, oh, we're against Hoombats. I <laughs> I maybe fight Hoombats like three times a year. I will say I'm getting very lucky with the <laughs> the start of this Guardian Gauntlet with some of the matchups and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, don't get me wrong. This Hoombats got a star. Hoombats uh, passive with Hydra's Lament can actually shred gods. But, I mean, overall, I feel pretty good about this. I am going to go a... So, so th there's multiple ways to play a Kabrakin. Uh, you go, like, super high power poly build, which I think I'm going to do. Or you go, like, a crazy lifesteal build, which I also like doing. Bancroft's Typhons into polys, even Spear Mag Magus, if you want. I mean, that's, like, overcapping, you know, way too much. But definitely can do it. Um, let's see. And I'm also going to get Horn Shard. All right. Um, I have no idea if he's going to invade or not, but I do think I'm going to start my blue. Also, why am I using this skin? I, I meant to select Fat Loki or one of my other skins. That's okay. Minions have spawned. That's all right. We can do the good old Kabrakin recolor. Probably should have started with my wand. One, two, three. Probably the way to do it. Uh, I don't want to use all my mana clearing this. And honestly, it's not that much faster than just auto attacking. So we'll do that. And if he started red, that's fine. I just I just really prefer blue buff on most guardians. Okay. I could have waited a little bit longer for the stun there. But we're doing we're doing good damage. I'm getting beat up by the archers though. That's such a good Hoombat skin. <laughs> I don't think I have it. I don't think I bought it when it came out. I meant to, but I, I don't know. I hope it's still available. I, I should get it. All right. He obviously went around for his buff, right? But did he go for XP or, or a D recall, I guess? Oh, he might have just straight up recalled, which would mean he's going to contest this. Yeah. All right. All right. Smart man. Oh, but what if I steal it? Bro. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be that guy. I'm that guy, Humbats. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I mean I'm getting XP goals from the minions. I think I'm close stuff, yeah. He's not. So I'm now level five. Like, this is just good for me. He's just slowly... I mean, I'm getting poked out too, but I'm getting XP and gold. <laughs> oh, he is too. <laughs> you know what? All right, I, don't, I didn't even mean to get that with my one. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Run, Kabrakin. All right. <laughs> wow, that was probably the most annoying thing I could have done to this Hoombat. Uh, but I did it. I got his ult, but he got my beads. All right, we're good. We're chilling. We can get our Book of Thoth since I'm going to go a power build. I do think Bancroft's Typhons is better in most scenarios on uh, Kabrakin, but there's something about Book of Thoth, Tablet Destiny right now, just kind of kind of insane not to mention the scaling for poly and then plus i can always kind of go i can do both i can go thoth tablet destiny poly and go like i don't know typhon spear don't even need the bancrofts if i want to go like weird late game build i don't know i'm just throwing things out there obviously i need cooldown so breastplate of valor is a good option I have been tending to go regrowth on most gods if they have a heal, but Kabrakin does not have a heal. Like regrowth on Fafnir or on Ardeo is pretty good. Yeah, 
he's going transcendence that's exactly what i would build on humbats so good stuff humbats is pretty fun in duel he's he's a little weird but uh he's pretty fun his ults uh his ult's good once your opponent's beads are down it can be a guaranteed kill against most gods but I, I'm pretty tanky just naturally with Kabrak and passive on my two. Uh, giving me... It gives protections, right? Yeah. gives quite a bit of protections. I am going to be skipping defense for my second item, which means he does have a pretty good chance of killing me if he goes into defense. Um, because I will be, you know, more squishy. Even if I do... Even if I am naturally a little bit more tankier. I'm not staying in this fight. Not not with archers. Not with archers there. That's just a bad idea. Healing with Chalice. Chalice always worth in duel. Gives so much health. Alright, there's his ult. You'll know when I stun him, I usually wait until the stun runs out before applying my other stun. Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> no, I used my one! Oh, I, I don't know why I didn't activate it earlier. That was stupid of me. <laughs> I was I was scared of him. I was trying to bait him to leap over that wall. And then, uh, you know, I could just turn around. But he kind of knew what I was doing. So that, that worked against me a little bit there. I definitely could have killed him. Definitely had the opportunity. I uh, just messed up a bit, which is okay. I'm 0-1, but I'm winning. Well, XP-wise. Gold-wise, I'm losing. But not for long. Just gotta farm efficiently. Yeah, we win Genji's. Alright, alright. Pretty good item. I think my two is, uh, is it the two that is not affected by diminishing returns or the one? I think it's the two. Like, I don't see it in the ability, but I'm kind of reading through it quickly. It's one of the few abilities in the game that's not affected by diminishing returns, where if you keep stunning someone over and over again, usually the stun gets shorter and shorter, but, uh, not Kabrakin two. As long as you have the stacks, of course, to stun. I do have beads, but... As we can see, he's kind of beating me up because I don't have protections, and he does. So he's he's winning these fights right now. Which, you know, is the risk of me rushing Tablet of Destiny. I can go back and build it, but I do want to clear this wave. Uh, oh, but my blue buff's up. This is bad. This is bad because I'm scared he's going to try and steal my blue buff. I mean, I have my beats up. I just heard him pop a potion, too. Yeah. Yeah, just just back. Honestly. It's not worth it. Alright, now we get tier 1 defense as well. We'll sell my mana potion for that. Genji's give 70 magical protections. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I do like maxing my three just because the the scaling on it is pretty in, pretty intense. If you if you catch them in a position where their escapes down and you just keep using your three, uh, they just die. And that's the only thing he has to cancel my ability. So. Oh, did I cancel my three too early? Oh no, he ran away. Okay, I mean, that's good for me, but... Oh, he missed his three! And then, and then, then my wall blocked the... <laughs> blocked his ability! I don't think he realized my wall blocks his two there. He almost died to arches because of that. That would have been amazing. Uh, that's huge, though. Even though I didn't kill him, uh, push that entire wave under tower, he's gonna miss quite a bit of it. Not too much, but... You know, it adds up. Uh, relic, I am not gonna get my second relic. Because he hasn't gotten his second relic 
and I want to be able to counter Relic him. I want to get Horrific if he doesn't get Sprint. Uh, otherwise, I can just get Blink. Blink's probably the best answer here either way. Uh, he's not going to get Horrific against me because I have slow me in DMI1. So I, I feel like that would just be a bad idea. Oh, his escape's down. I mean, maybe if we bully a bit. Just a little bit. I'm, I'm going to stay in my three for a while there, man. Already got eight stacks on Tablet of Destiny. Very, very nice. Uh, I definitely should have uh, beads, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not. I mean, never mind. I'm glad I didn't beads because I didn't need it. <laughs> Uh, do I want to try to kill him here? If he stays, I don't think he is. Yeah. Yeah, not with... How soon is Red up? Yeah. Yeah, no, that was a smart thing for him to back. I might as well clear the wave, though. Because I'm going to miss Red either way. I hope I don't miss my blue, but I think that's what's going to happen. Ah, uh, shoot. You guys relic? Nope. So we don't need to get our relic either. Plus, I mean, Horn Shard's pretty dang good on Kabraken. So I'll probably keep it. You did go Hydra's. Great Humbat's item with Humbat's passive. It's like a super auto attack after using ability. Super fun with crit, but uh, generally not the best way to build Humbat's in duel. It's a fun way to build Humbat's in duel, though. So, I mean, he might do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting junked right now. Kind of surprised he didn't teleport. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I, I, I panicked, I panicked. I once thought my journey would end with death. Oh, so it's close, so enough. close. I'm 0-2. Oh, dude, Zumbat's kicking my butt, actually. Hold on, hold on a second. Zumbat's, can't be having that. Do I need pen? I mean, I need like a little bit of pen. Maybe just one spear. It's not that much pen, but the increased damage plus the little bit of life still combined with when I get poly. It'll be nice. I mostly just want a huge amount of power for the late game. I would like max cooldown, so I need something with 10%. But I'm not too sure what to get. There's a soul gem, but eh, soul gem doesn't seem to be the right play here. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Soul gem. Ever since they buffed soul gem, so it's only three stacks that you need. Been pretty good. Oh, good damage, good damage. Eh, could have popped Horn Shard there, but probably not worth. Again, I 100% plan on getting Polly. I just think I need something before Polly. I might go Obsidian rather than... Rather than Spear. I know Obsidian is not the most... Like, best item. But it, it gives 90 power. He still doesn't have a second relic. Yeah, let's do that. Because the spear isn't going to give me enough pen, I don't think. Well, it's 10%. I forgot they changed it to 10% rather than flat pen. <laughs> Never mind. Spear would have been fine. We'll, we'll just go stick with obsidian, though. Not going to beat that because... Well, I mean, obviously my beats are down, but I just don't need to. Maybe I do need to. Got a dodge of three? Yep. Cool. Uh, maybe upgrading beads here is worth. Because I don't want to lose the game because my beads are down in two ultimates or so. We're kind of at the getting to that point of the game. I'm two levels down. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't thinking when we loaded in that I saw I was against Humbats. I wasn't thinking this game would be going like this so far, but that makes that makes it more interesting. So I'm I'm down I'm up for it.
could have waited for those XP camps, that's alright. Crusher? Okay, okay. Um, I mean, yeah. Pretty good damage item, but I don't see it in duel too often, if I'm honest. Oh, now what is he building? Is he building Heartseeker? Heartseeker's good. I do have that Guardian HP pool. Also, we need uh, wards. He can take Demon King in like two seconds. I don't want to beat that and then literally lose the game, you know? Perfect bracket all. Oh, I mean, not it, it was it perfect. Obviously, keeping him Phoenix would have been made it perfect, but it got the job done. Very cool. He has a sentry also, uh, so he hasn't placed it, but he's probably gonna put that on Demon King. I would love to get this tower right now, but I also don't want to stay so long that he just ends up going straight for Demon King and then I lose because of that. So. Uh, I don't think my archer's gonna get tower, but again, I if he just went, if I ended up staying and then I backed and he went straight for Demon King, I'd have no way of defending that. I might still have no way of defending that. We'll see. He got blink. Oh, I could have got my second relic. So I can get blink or I can get a defensive relic because he's kind of has an all in build or I can get an offensive relic like, oh no, yep, that was too late. Because I was talking. Oh, nice blink, dude. I should be okay, though. He does... Keep in mind, he does have uh, Hydras and all that. You know what? Actually... No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to push with that one minion and tank for that minion, that Phoenix and everything, but that's not a good idea. Yeah, with, with Hydras, he should be able to make quick work of this Phoenix. Good stuff, good stuff. You got half a Phoenix. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, especially considering I'm about to get Polly online. Had to clear this wave. All right, cool. He gets red buff. That's fine. Point is that Phoenix is defended. All right, nice, nice, nice. I'll get a blink myself. That, that kind of becomes problematic if he starts... Uh, What's the word for it? If he starts blinking away from me and I don't have blink, yeah. Not to mention when he just leaps regularly, it's good for me to be able to chase him. And I feel pretty comfortable now that my build's, you know, very much online. Like, uh, Tablet Destiny, 27 stacks, pretty good with full Book of Oath. I like that I can use my three early. And then with my three, uh, if Tableau Destiny isn't up yet, <laughs> if he's still in it at the very end, I, I still get the stack for it. So that's kind of nice. Now his blink is down. Yes. Very nice. I think I can just take this with Polly. Yep. Nice. Very cool. Let's go take this Phoenix. Should be able to with Polly. Polly does huge damage. Nice 177. Cool. 11 seconds. Okay. Let's go get. Let's see. Red's down. His blue's down. XP's probably down. We'll see. Uh, is that going to be a serrated? That'll give him a good amount of damage with the 20% pen. He'll have 30% pen with Heartseeker, right? No, 40 kill of max pen. This is very, very bad for me. <laughs> oh, my beads were just down. <laughs> oh, good bracket. That's so dumb. 
That's so dumb. Insane. Absolutely, absolutely nutty. 20, he's dead for 26 seconds. I have fire minions. I might be able to end. I, I think I should be able to end if any, if only because of my, my three, right? I like if I already just, oh, except I should probably, I'm dumb. I should have just held it. I was worried about the minions a little bit. Yeah, that's game. That's game. <laughs> Very, you know, uh, you did you don't see too many Hoombats in duel, so I hey, highly respect the, the pick, right? Um, he played well. He, he got two kills before I got a single kill. And uh, there were some close fights there, like the fight by the, my Phoenix and the fight just there before the game ended. So good game overall. Good stuff. All right. And also, a viewer suggested last episode, and I'm going to start doing this from now on, is that at the end of the Guardian Gauntlet, at the very end of the episode... We will roll the wheel for the next, so for the next episode. So uh, that way you guys know what God is coming, especially since the God is already put in the thumbnail anyways. So it makes sense to me. So we'll be spinning for episode four right now. And I'll explain it at the beginning of the next episode for anyone that might have missed it. All right, so Sobek. Sobek is the next God in the Guardian Gauntlet. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, right, buddy. Oh, I did realize just now I forgot to hide <laughs> Kabrakin from the wheel, but it didn't really affect it, so we're good. Bye, <laughs> right, buddy.